Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today we're going to be doing a declutter of all of my makeup bags. This is not the video I intended to film today, but it's a snow day here in New York City, so you know you're going to do what you can because I couldn't go out today. And so I decided to start cleaning out the drawers in my makeup vanity, and I realized that I couldn't shed the drawer anymore because there were way too many bags in there. So I needed to take a look and see what's in there, and I figured I'd share with all of you while I'm doing it. So this will be a surprise to me because I sort of just dumped everything into this bin, and I have to make sure that what I put back in there fits in the drawer so that it closes. So let's get started. So first off, this is my regular toiletries bag. It still actually has some of my stuff in it. I'm not going to get rid of this thing right now. This is from Ikea. The reason I keep this is it's sort of like a very sturdy canvas. It's got an extra pocket in the front. So this is good for keeping things like shampoo, my toothpaste, because if anything leaks in this, it's sort of a waxed canvas so it doesn't leak through, but it's contained inside the bag. So this is designed to be utilitarian and not cute. So I am going to keep this for now. I don't think I have anything better than that at the moment. Next up we have this. I just picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm excited to take this thing traveling. I believe this is the Sephora Weekender. I could be wrong, but I, if I'm wrong, I'll write the correct one in the notes below. So this one is a hard shell case. This fits all of my little travel palettes really nicely, and therefore nothing will get smushed in my bag, especially when I'm shoving as many things as can fit into my backpack as possible because I have to fit into a very tiny spot in the van that I'm driving in, or if I'm flying and I have to get it in the overhead bin, I don't want anything to get squashed. So this is a good way to keep my stuff from getting crushed, so I am definitely keeping this guy. What's this? Oh, so this is the cardboard box from the Give Me Some Nude Lips from a Sephora Favorites. I think I kept this because the box is cute, it's shaped like a lips. And I did, I think I carried some stuff in a suitcase in this because it was hard sided. That's a lovely way of recycling, I guess, but I don't need to keep this anymore because I, now I have a new hard sided case. So this I'm gonna take this apart and put it into the recycling. Okay, so some of this is a bunch of Sephora play bags. So this is in a summer state of mind. So when you get your Sephora subscription box, this is what they come in. They come in these little uh, like cotton bags. They're nice little bags. I'm not, I'm not mad at them, but I don't think I need to keep all of these. Uh, I think I'll, I'll pass this one along. I don't, I'm not going to use that, I don't think. Uh, this one says glow your own way uh, because I do think that's adorable for the Fleetwood Mac reference. That one I do think I will keep at least for now, but I think if there's any more hiding in here I better not keep any more than this one. Uh, this is another Sephora play box. This is a plastic envelope. I don't remember if this was a regular Sephora play or a fancy one, but it's basically a, a, a plastic envelope with a snap top. I don't think I need to keep this though. It's a neat bag. I just don't, I, I don't know what I would put in it because I feel like any makeup would make it bulge and then the fact that it's plastic would no longer be helpful because as soon as it bulges stuff can leak out the top. So I think I'm going to pass that along too. Alright, oh so this is from my cousin actually. This is a little kitty bag. So that's a bunch of little kitties climbing along buildings. I do really like this. I keep this in my purse. It fits my liquid lipsticks in it. So I do think I want to keep this one at least for now. But let's see how many more I have. Oh, so this is a Sephora bag, at least according to the tag. I would have guessed it was like a Clinique or a Lancome or something. But it's this really neat metallic one. I do like this one a lot. I do carry it a lot. Also, because of whatever this fabric is made out of, it makes it hard for stuff to leak out the bottom. I do like to keep this. So for now, I'm going to put it with this one, but I want to keep an eye on everything this size because I don't need too many of those. All right, and I have this. This I know is from Sephora. This came in a set. It was like a blusher and highlighter set that I got at the Sephora JC Pennies. So it, it had some pretty things in there. So this was like the color scheme was this pink color down here. This is a good bag. I just don't know if I need to keep this one. But I do like the bottom of it because it's sort of like a faux leather and so it's sturdy and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. This is how I end up with too many bags, guys. So I'm going to put this here for now. I want to see what other things I have of that size. This is from YSL. I have no idea where this came from. I think probably perfume gift. It probably is a perfume gift from Macy's. That, uh, I don't know who got it for me, though. But I know it used to have a mirror that attached to this cord inside here. I do think I want to keep this one only because this... This is definitely another one of those heavy waxed things so that like, nothing leaks in this when I use it and it holds a lot of stuff. But I guess if I had to pick, these are the same size and I like this one better. So I'm going to give this one up. 
All right, and this one is pink. I've gotten some red lipstick on it at this point. This is from Lancome. So it's like a rose gold little pouch. This one is so pretty though. It's about the same size as this guy though. Do I need, well, it's a little smaller actually. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, this is another one of my Sephora bags that I picked up relatively recently when they went on sale. I think this is the Excursionist. I'll write the real names down below. So this one is so, I like to carry my makeup brushes in this because this also sort of, it's not hard sided, but it, it holds its shape a little bit better so I can put my brushes in here and not have them get all squished. So I do like this bag. It's not my favorite, but it was also relatively inexpensive and it does the job. So for now I'm gonna keep it. We'll see how it goes after this next travel run. Okay, next up we have this. This I actually bought at New York Comic Con a couple years ago, and it's just like a change pouch, but I love the artwork on it. Unfortunately, I do not remember the name of the artist, but you could buy these like as a wall silk screen, and they were really expensive, but the tiny little makeup bag was not so bad. This I do want to keep. I'm definitely going to keep that no matter what, so I'm going to put that there. Um, I will decide between these guys in a few minutes. Oh, next I have this. This is from the Too Faced Kat Von D collaboration. So these are their pets. So that's the pet of Jared Blandino and that's Kat Von D's cat. Uh, I liked the collaboration because it gave me an opportunity to try some new products out from both of them. Ew, there's like something gooey inside this bag. That's gross. I don't even store anything in here. The collaboration was fine. I enjoyed it because I got like a full size uh, tattoo liner and I think I got a better than sex mascara which I'd never tried before and then there was a kit that had lipsticks in it and blushes and a highlighter so I got to try out the candlelight glow highlighter from Too Faced. Uh, one of the Love Flush blushes, which I actually really love. It's one of my favorites. And then a, a studded kiss lipstick and a liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick was not so great at, because it feathered on me, but that's just because the shade was really dark. But the studded kiss was really great. And that, I think, is what came in this little bag. Although I don't think I've ever used this bag. It looks like glue that's sort of like come off from the inside. How am I going to fit anything in here anyway? Like, not even my regular lipstick will fit in this. I don't know. It's I kind of want to keep it as the collector in me, but I don't I don't need this bag. <laughs> I guess if I was going to keep it, I need to put it on display, and am I going to display this? I'm not. All right, I'm going to let that go. Oh, more Sephora play bags. Uh, public display of complexion. That's actually funny, but I don't need that one either, so you know, I'm going to put that in the no pile. And this is Me O'Clock. I don't need that one either, so let's pass that one along. What are these little guys? Oh, this is if you get a gift card for somebody, which somebody did for Christmas. Thank you. Uh, and so it's like a little billfold wallet thing. I don't mind it. I don't think I'd put, I don't think I'd put makeup in it. I think there's a second one in here. Yeah, there is. So I have two of them actually. I think what I'd like to do, I want to keep one of these as like a change pouch but not, not to put makeup in, but I would put it in my purse to keep my change in it. And frankly, I like the purple zipper better, so I will keep this one and I will pass this one along. Cause they're really cute, they're nice, I just don't need it. Oh, getting down there, what else is in there? Oh, so this is my Darth Vader bag. This is what I used when I got married. So this is, says, feel the power of the dark side. This is how I can't, transported all of my makeup to the hotel where I got married. Uh, and my mom had also put stuff like band-aids and that kind of thing in there So it it reminds me of that so it makes me laugh when I see it uh, You can put a bunch of stuff in here. It's a, it's a good little bag for that kind of thing So I just need to remember that I have it and try to use it more. So I do want to keep that All right, this bag this is from an indie store called animated closet I'm not sure that they're still in existence. I think they were they were having a liquidation sale, so I'm not sure she's selling anything anymore. It's got these outer pockets on the outside, and then it holds a whole bunch of stuff on the inside. You can fit a lot of makeup in this. The outside pockets are not necessarily very useful, but the inside is. And it has like a hard bottom so that it, it will stand up if you put it down on the table. So this I do want to keep. And, oh, so this is my pink box that came from my play box. This was the Beauty Remedy Edition. Uh, so you can fit a lot of stuff in here too. It's kind of like a little purse more than anything else. I think for now I'm going to try to keep it. Uh, if I don't, I'm going to take it with me when I go traveling this summer. If I don't use it much, I'm going to have to get rid of it too. But for now, it's sort of a novelty. I know it's going to get dirty like instantaneously because it's light pink. <laughs> but I want to try it out at least once. 
All right, what's this? Oh, this is the latest Sephora play box, I think. So this says Glam Straight. This one I do think is funny. Um, this one's made out of like the silky material. But again, I don't, I don't need to keep this. I have too many of these, so I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, what are these? Oh, so <laughs> during the, uh, during the VIB sale, if you spent stuff in stores, they gave you a free tote bag. I think in total, I ended up with four of these. Just because every time I went in there, they'd give me another one. And I, and once they, and they also mailed me one too. I definitely got one in the mail in one of my Sephora boxes because I was buying presents for people. So I have way too many of these bags. I don't need them. Uh, I think I'll keep one and put it with my grocery bags. But beyond that, actually wait, no, I have a regular Sephora tote bag that I got previously that I liked better than this. Because this has pretty short straps and that one you could wear cross body. No, I'm gonna let go of both of these. I don't need either of those. Someone else can have them. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, so this is my hanging makeup holder. So this is, bought this at the Nintendo store. <laughs> I'm a big Zelda fan, if you couldn't tell from any of the stuff in my background sometimes, or my t-shirts that I'm wearing. Uh, this pouch at the bottom here is removable. It's made out of plastic, but you can also put a lot of stuff in this. This is not my favorite way to travel with makeup, but this bag itself is so cute. I'm going to try to make a more concerted effort to use it. You can hang this on like a hook in the bathroom or on the back of the door and then have all of your stuff ready for you. So in terms of that, it might be really useful for me when I'm traveling and if I'm living somewhere for a couple of days. Even if I don't pack my makeup in this, it'd be a place to store it so I can easily pick it back up. So I just need to remember to use this more often. And here we have more of my Sephora play bags. These are from like the fancy play bags. So this one's like a really cool iridescent shimmery one. It unzips. It's sort of fleecy on the inside. I mean, I think it's neat looking, although it's sort of like got sticky stuff on the outside. I don't know if I need it. And I have a second one that's all in gold. I guess if I had to pick, I don't need to keep both of them. I guess if I was going to pick, I'd keep the iridescent one and I, I'll pass on the gold one because it's neat, but I, I don't have to have it. All right, let's see how we did. 15. That still seems like a lot. Let's see what we got rid of. And a 12 is a cardboard box. So I got rid of almost half. I still think that this is too many. Let me take another look through this and see if I can get rid of anything else. If I'm gonna be honest with myself, this has a white inside to it. I'm never gonna to wanna to store makeup in it. So <laughs> I'm not gonna keep that. And yeah, and then this guy I'm actually not going to put with the makeup stuff. I'm going to put this in my purse and keep my loose change in it. Okay, so then I would be keeping 13 bags to store makeup and I'd be getting rid of 13. And then this guy I'm just going to put him in my wallet and take him out of the makeup completely. So that's pretty good. That's 50%. That never happens, especially on my declutters. I keep way too much stuff. I just can't help myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content you're getting on this channel, please subscribe. If you got a suggestion for a video that you'd like to see, please put that in the comments below. Uh, I hope you're all having a safe and wonderful day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!